All right. Good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon from wherever you are listening from. All protocols duly observed. This is Real Cute Emotion International. And my name is Coach Mo. And I'm with my colleague tonight, Coach Salisu. All right. So um, we are going to be looking at something very, very important. That is what the first thing you need to understand before you even start to trade with your boat. Because you see, um, Rio Q boat is a semi artificial intelligence robot, meaning you have to give it a set of instructions. And it is a set of instructions that the robot will be making use of to trade for you. So if you don't get it right from the beginning, you are going to be in a mess. That is why you need to understand this part. It is something you might never heard of before. Ask question. It is very, very important you ask question. So now the set of instructions means the settings we are going to be using with the boats to trade for you. So permit uh, we can jump in. All right, so this is it, and I believe you all can see my screen. And then there is something you need to install on your phone because these settings, where we are going to be getting the settings from, it's an Excel template, but you don't have to use Excel to open it. Excel have an app. You don't need to use that Excel to open it because you might not be able to navigate on the sheet. So you need this app called WPS Office. So please, you need to install this app, whether you're using iPhone or Android, install this app on your phone. It works more better on Android devices. So once you install this app, the next thing is to open the templates. If you don't have this, this template, you need to request for the template on the group. You op use this template to open, you use the app to open this template. And when you open the template, the next thing you see is a set of settings here. Yeah? At the top, you see RQTMI magic, quantum magic to whichever of the settings it takes you to, that is not important, okay? What we are making use of here is the magic one, magic three, and magic five. Why are we making use of those three settings? Because we have about eight settings here, yeah? magic one, down to magic eight. The reason why we are making use of magic one, three, and five is because of the one short strategy. You already know that one short strategy is a one time trade, and that is what we use with our signals. Even if you want to analyze yourself, you need to use the one shot. It is only for those who are using autopilot to make use of uh, magic five or magic two. But tonight, we are going to be looking into the magic one, three, and five for for what one short strategy okay so on this template we have dashboard when you tap on the dashboard just take a look at the top of my screen you'll find where you see all these settings this can see the dashboard my magic one magic two you can swipe you can swipe so that you can see order some people find it difficult to use this template just swipe hold the top you can see where i'm holding uh, this on this side, left, right, you can swipe it to your left and swipe it to your right to check other settings. So for now, let's take a look at the temp, the dashboard. What is the dashboard for? The dashboard is just to show you the percentage of dip each settings covers for. Because when you are making use of these settings, it makes you money uptrend and downtrend, especially the default settings. The default settings makes you money uptrend and downtrend. Kusalis, please, can you hear me very well? Hope oh, my audio is not breaking. Please, if you all can hear me clearly, let me see a one, one, one on the chat. If you can hear me, my audio is... I can hear you, I can, you. I can hear you, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's proceed, please. Thank you. So as you can see, Magic 1 covers for 30% dip. Magic 3 
Let me highlight it. Magic one covers what thirty percent deep. Magic three covers what twenty five percent deep, and magic five covers what fifty percent deep. This is the percentage whereby if the price of that coin you are trading goes down to minus 30 percent if you're making use of magic one for example it means your total capital allocated on that trade will be used to purchase the coin completely remember the robot uses parts of your capital bits by bits to buy up margin calls based on the settings you are using on the trade you are trading so when it takes the first buy from the capital allocated on that trade the next is to buy the margin call one the next is to buy the magic call to based on the margin call settings the margin call drop settings so this means for magic one when the price of that trading goes deep by minus 30 percent all your capital is already allocated on that trade for magic three so minus 25 percent for magic five minus 50 percent so what happens when it uses all your capital to buy all the margin calls is it either you open more margin calls or you remain patient you do nothing you remain patient and wait for the price to retrace and pick up and go sell Remember, this is a business where you need to be patient. Patient is very important here. Yeah. So let's move on, please, to Magic One. All right, so for Magic One, how do we make use of this Magic One? Please pay attention, guys. How do you make use of this Magic One? Let's Say, for example, you have a capital of 1,200. But you don't know which of the settings you need to make use of. You don't know which of the settings you need to make use of. The best thing to do here, remember we said if you are trading one shot, minimum number of coins we recommend is what? Three. Maximum number of coins is 10. So since you know that minimum number of coins is three and you have one, two, all you need to do is to say one, two, divide by three. One, two, divide by three. Whatever you get means that is what you use per trade. So when you do one, two, divide by three, it will give you 400. 400 meaning you are going to be using 400 per trade. You can, you can, now do this, you go to your magic one because it falls under magic one setting because you can see for magic one, what is the minimum capital here? The minimum capital says what? 320. Meaning below 320, you cannot make use of magic one, but from 320 and above, yes, you can make use of magic one. So how do we make use of this magic one to get the right settings? All you need to do is to say 400 minus first buy. What is the first buy? First buy is 20. You can see, first buy here says what? 20. Okay, give me a second. You can see, first buy here says 20. First buy is the first amount that will be deducted from your capital to buy that coin, to purchase that coin you want to trade. So when you say 400 minus 20, it will give you 380, meaning you are to impute 380 here, where you have the remark in green column the remark you tap on it and edit then you write 380 remember i said the capital you got that you want to allocate per trade is 400 one to divide by three one to trade three coins now before you impute this to get the right settings you say 400 minus first by amount which is 20 400 minus 20 will give you 380 you simply write 380 and you confirm so now 380 has been written for us to be sure we are correct go down to your matching configuration, go down, you see multiple buying ratio. You can look at closely here. We have 400 here. It means that we are correct. This shows that you are correct your settings. The next thing you need to do from here is to go to your real queue and impute these settings one after the other. Whatever you see here is also on your real queue. Real queue has a real queue has a part whereby you can save this 
template on your royal queue so that you don't need to always impute the settings over and over and over again. No, it is stressful. So royal queue has a place where you can easily save this template so that you can make use of it just with a click of a button on any coin you want to trade. Remember, what I am sharing with you guys now is the RQTMI default settings. We have the bull tactics category one and bull tactics category two, but we are looking at the default settings first. Default settings makes you money uptrend and downtrend because of the margin call drop. I will talk more on that. So let me head to my Royal Q now and show you guys how you can impute the settings. So this is my Royal Q app. This is my Royal Q app. What next am I to do from here? The next thing is to go on mine. Check the bottom right. You'll find mine at the bottom right. Now I've clicked on mine. The next thing is to scroll down and let's look for my strategy settings. My strategy settings. You tap on my strategy settings, it will open up a page. Let's check out the page. It is going to open. Now this is it. You can see. I have several settings here. You can have more than one. Yes, more than one settings. All depends on your capital. So let me add this now. The next thing to do is to tap on plus. Look at the plus at the top right of my screen because we want to add a setting. Tap on plus. You can see it has opened up the exact page we can see on our templates. The same thing, nothing changes here. The same thing. So the first thing here you see is what Rick's type. What is the risk type on the template? When we go back to the template and let's check it out, you can see the risk type says use radical. Radical meaning you want the robot to be aggressive in buying and selling. You want it to sell fast and buy fast for you. And single opportunity is to buy it by single opportunity is to sell itself. So let's go back to the template and change steady. We don't want it to be on the steady or even conservative. We want it to be on radical. You tap on the steady. Let me do that again. Where you have the steady, you tap on the drop down. For those who will say they can't see what I'm saying, just tap on it. Tap on it. Okay. It takes us here that you tap on radical to switch. It will ask you, do you want to switch? Yes. You say, yes, sure, switch. Now it has been switched. The next thing is to what? Please pay attention here to the remark here does not mean you have to put. 380. Remember, the Royal Q template has the um, the RQTMI template has what the remark. The remark is to just do your calculation to put in whatever you have after you minus the first buy. But in this case, for Royal Q, the remark here means that you should give these settings a name, a description, so that you will not get yourself confused in a situation you have more than one setting saved on your Royal Q. So in this case, the best thing to do here is to write $400 capital. Whatever you want to use, with bull settings you are saving, bull, just give it a name that you will know, you'll be able to identify it when you see it. Now, this is it. $400 capital is what I want to use in my own case. Then what is the next thing to do from here? The next is the first buy amount. First buy amount, you change whatever you have here because the first buy amount on the template for Magic One is 20. Please, very important, change it to 20. Open position double. Don't enable is written here boldly. Don't enable AI margin call. Don't enable. It means we have to switch both off. So the open position double is already switched off, but the AI margin call is turned on. So let me tap on it to turn it off. You can see it has been turned off. Now that it has been turned off, what is the next step from here? The next step from here is to, okay, before we talk about that, Please take note for iPhone users. iPhone users, you will not find this AI margin call here, only Android users. So when you want to start your trade, after you load the settings, that is when you are going to turn off the AI margin call because we don't use AI margin call. This controls how it buys the margin call drop. We already have our settings, our manual settings, so you don't need to turn it on. Take note about that. We, RQTMI, don't use it. Okay, so let's proceed. Now, the next step is margin call limits. Margin call limit means the number of times if you buy that coin to split your capital to buy that coin, which is 20 on the template. If you check, you see it is 20, 
20 margin call limit, meaning it will buy that coin 20 times. It will distribute your capital into 20 parts to buy those coins at different prices, meaning it will buy them at cheap prices for you. Because when the price is going down, it means you're getting discounts on that coin to buy it even cheaper earlier than how you bought it. That is what it means. Remember, cryptocurrency is bought in quantities or units. It is the unit that gives you that money you're seeing because value, the dollar you're seeing there, the price you're seeing there is just there because the price needs to go up for it, for it to get your real value. If the price does not go up, that's your unit you're seeing there will just be there. So your unit is constant. The price is volatile. As the price is going up, whatever the price gets up to, multiply your unit or quantity by the current price to give you your total value of your of your money. So it means margin call limit means how many number of times it will split your capital to purchase that coin you are trading. Now, what is whole position take profit ratio? Whole position take profit ratio is the profit it will give you from the amount that has been allocated on the first buy first to the fourth call. Now, listen carefully. When Royal Q buys the first buy down to the fourth call, down to the fourth call, this. It takes it as a single entity. Now, whatever you use on your position take profit ratio is the percentage it will give you when it sells based on the capital that was used to buy those positions. The capital that was used to buy the first buy, remember first buy is $20. The capital that was used to buy the first call, second call down to the fourth call, the total capital it was used to buy those positions is what it will give you when it sells because it sells them together as a single entity. I will explain further. But please, I will need you to understand this part. Very, very important. Like I said, if you don't have, if you don't understand this, when it's time for questions, I will allow you guys to ask your question. Now, the next step from here is what? What is the next thing we can see here? It says use 3%. This can be editable based on the take profit you want to use. If it's 1.5%, especially for those trading our signals, whatever percentage that comes with that signal is what you edit here. When you load the settings, before you save the settings, you need to edit to suit your um, trading um, take profits, whatever comes with the signal, then you save. For this case, let's leave it on default, which is 3%. Whole position take profit call back 0.01%. Remember, everything is here. Here, I'll change it to 20 on real queue. Whole position take profit ratio, 3%. Then now we are on the whole position take profit callback. What is this whole position take profit callback? It says we should use 0 0.01. It means by the time you are trading a coin and the price is supposed to sell to give you uh, when it gets to 3%, because remember what we do here is buy low to sell high. So by the time it gets above the 3%, it is supposed to sell because a coin can just pump in the market. When it pumps, Reaki will not sell. It will be waiting for the bulls to have a retracement, a callback or a pullback. They are all the same thing. I repeat, retracement, pullback or callback. But you can see in this case, Reaq sees whole position take profit callback. It is still the same thing, retracement. So when there's a retracement by 0.01%, it will now trigger and sell, meaning it will make you more than the 3%. That was the projected take profit. Is this understood? Please let me see on a yes on the chat if you understand what I've said just now. Do you understand? Do you all understand what I've said so far and what I just said now? The whole position take profit callback and the whole position take profit ratio. If you understand, if you all understand what I've said, please let me see a yes on the chat. Let me see a yes on the chat before I proceed. I can only see two yeses here. Okay. Please, I need more of the yeses to be sure everybody is on the same page with everyone. Okay. Let's let's move on, please. So we are done with the margin 
uh, the whole position take profit call back. What about the margin configuration? We are going to treat this to be the last, but this is the engine of your settings. Very important. But let's do this last. Buy in callback, very important too. Buy in callback on the template, it says use 0 0.01. This controls how it buys your margin call drop. Those, remember I said the margin call limit here is 20, meaning it will buy 20 times. This buy in callback controls how it buys the margin calls. Also using the same formula of whole position, take profit callback. The same formula. Now let's move on. Distributed take profit allocation. Let me open it. You can see what it says here. It did not call the fourth call. It did not, did not mention the fourth, fourth call here, but they only mentioned the fifth call downward to the what 20th call. This means when Royal Q buys the first buy down to the fourth call, I said it is a single entity. But from the fifth call downward is where it begins to make money for you downtrend. So the fifth call is single entity. The sixth call is single entity. The seventh call is single entity and so on and so forth down to the last call based on your settings. So in this case, the take profit when it sells the position is 1.3%. On the template, it says from the fifth Call to the call use one three percent. It's ready on one point three percent. So you leave it like this and go down as on show. Oh my. It was a mistake. mistake. Sorry. You tap on sure it will take the next it was sub position take profit from the fifth call down. I was break for the sub position take profit call back control me. You make more right figures here to use is 0.01 percent. Use one shot. One shot. You can see, but in this case. It's on circle, circle is autopilot. We are using autopilot. Please, for magic 135, what we are to do is to switch it to one shot. Just tap on circle to switch to one shot. Simple as that. Now, the last step here is the margin configuration, which is the engine of your settings. Now, let's move on, please. Give me a second. Please give me a second. Okay, let's proceed. So, it will now take you, let's go to the margin configuration. Now, this is the engine of your settings. You can see we have two columns there, margin call drop and multiple buying ratio. Let's talk about the margin call drop first. The margin call drop controls the percentage drop in price it will trigger to buy each margin calls based on the discount the coin is giving you. Remember, when there's a dip in the market, people keep complaining. Don't see, the dip should be your friend. When you see red in the market, you should be happy because your robots will be buying more to buy more of that coin at a cheaper price so that when it sells, it makes you more money. That is where the money is. The money is in the deep. The deep should be your friend. Don't be scared of the red. You should not be scared. When you see red, it is the red that gives you the greens that makes you the money. That's what people fail to realize here. So the money is in the deep. Take note. So now this controls how it buys those dips for you. First call, before it triggers to buy the first call, the price is to go down by what? On this setting here, on the template, 0.2%. It will trigger. And say, robots, buy so, so, so amounts for me when the price drops down by 0.2% after buying the first buy amount. But how much will they use? Now, this is it. Please take note. Let's go and check the multiple buying ratio. This is where the calculation is done by the robot. But we have already given you all these figures. You don't need to crack your head, please. Just impute this based on how you see it. Because if you check the total here is $400, mean it will distribute this $400 to all the 20 margin calls. You don't need to stress yourself. Royal Q, Simosha International has made this very easy for everyone for easy duplication. Now, 0 0.4 times, you can see here on Royal Q, 
it says this is the default setting. Of, of course, we are not going to make use of this. So we'll, we'll remove this and say 0 0.4. Here is 0 0.2. This, I am not going to do all this. I just want to explain with the first one so that I understand what's how it works. So you can see here it says 0 0.4 times. What is it times in? It is times in the first by amount. So 0 0.2 times first by amount FBA, which is 20. 0. Point, sorry, sorry, 0. 0.4, not 0. 0.2. I stand to be corrected, 0. 0.4. So 0. 0.4 multiplied by 20 is eight. It will use $8 to buy the first call. The next one is 1.5. 1.5 times first buy. First buy is 20. It will use $30 to buy the second call. But before it buys this, the price needs to go deep again by 0 0.2, 0 0.5%. So 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.2 down, whatever figure you have here is the percentage the price needs to go deep to, down to before it will trigger and buy. So by the time this robot buys all these margin calls, it means the price of that coin you're trading has gone deep by what? Minus 30%. That's why you have 30 here. And then robots will be waiting for the price to go back up before it starts to sell and finally sell and close the trade and leave the market with your profit and back with your capital. I hope this is understood. So this is how this margin configuration works. This is the engine of your settings. So please, the way you see it is how you, you impute it here and then you save, tap on show, and then you can save your settings. So this is how you impute it on your royal queue. Now let's go back to the template. This is for magic one. How about the magic three? Let's move to magic three. Remember, I said this is the RQTMI default settings. Default settings meaning you make money uptrend and downtrend. We have the bull taxes category one and bull taxes category two. But when I am done explaining the default settings, magic one, three, five, then I'll talk about the bull taxes for both. Now, let's move on to magic three. For magic three, what is the minimum capital? The minimum capital says what? Use $100. Minimum $100, meaning 100 and above. Take note, 100 and above. In this case, if let's say, for example, you have $300 and we told you minimum of number of coins you can trade is three. All you just need to do is say 100 per trade is what you allocate, meaning 100 um, times three, meaning 300. So you can trade only three coins at a time. Don't go and over trade. If, there was a day I saw somebody trading about seven coins with $50. <laughs> I don't know how that person did it, but that is that is not just right. It is totally wrong. Please do not over trade because the robot cannot just work for you. The results you're looking for, you can never get it when you do that. Make sure you have the right capital. You trade with the right capital so that you will not be in a mess. Okay, so in this case, some of us here might say, okay, what if I don't have up to $300? It's fine. Make use of your $100 to trade only one coin at a time. When it sells, you enter another one. You have to be patient and wait. But you cannot compare somebody who has more trades running for them and somebody who is only trading one coin. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Now, let's move on. For Magic 3, let's assume in, I said you want to use $100 per trade. What you just simply need to do here you don't need to minus the first buy for magic three. Magic one, you need to minus first buy before you impute the capital here on the remark to give you the settings. But in this case, you already see we have 100 here. So I don't need to even edit it because the 100 plus is already written here. If it's 600, you want to use 600 divided by three to 200 per coin. You just impute your 200 there. You don't need to minus the first buy for magic three. Take note, for magic three, you don't need to minus first buy before you put the capital here to give you your settings. For you to be sure you are correct. Now go to the multiple buying ratio, you can see 100. It shows that I am correct. But when you notice this is not showing 100, then you should know something must be wrong. Maybe you meant to, you didn't put the right figure there. Then the next thing to do is to what? To impute these settings on your real queue based on how you see it. Simple as that. Copy and paste. So easy. Now let's move on to Magic 5. Magic 5 is the best settings. Yes, it is the best settings. But if you have the capital, please make use of this. Very, very good settings. 
but the minimum capital to use this is what? $520 and above, you can see. Minimum capital, $520 and above. So let's assume you have $2,000 and you want to trade. Okay, I don't know which settings to use. Simple. Just say your 2,000 divide by three or divide by four, whatever you get. If you say divide by three, it gives you 666. So you can use 666 and you can use magic five because it goes above the minimum capital, which is 520. But take note for magic five, it works the way magic one works. Before you impute your 666 here, where you have 500, minus it by first byte. 666 minus 20. First byte for magic five is also 20. You can see. Whatever you get, 646, you change this 500 to 646. And you confirm. Let's confirm if I am correct. Now go down to multiple binary ratio. Good. You can see I have 66. It shows that I am correct. Simple and straightforward. Then you go to your real queue and you impute the settings one after the other. And you can save just the way I showed you guys on my Royal Q app. This is the RQTMI default settings, meaning you want to make money uptrend and downtrend. How about the bull tactics? Why is it called the bull tactics? A very good question. We are in the pre-bull, which everybody has been anticipating for the bull run to come. It will come, just relax. And when it comes, <laughs> the kind of money you guys will be printing, they'll think you did blood money, but be patient, just relax. It will come very, very soon. But even now we can make use of the bull tactics, but that is why we are telling you that, please make sure you know how you distribute your capital well. If you have money for trading three coins, it should be two ratio one, meaning Two coins should be on default settings. One coin can be on bull tactics category one or two, preferably category one. If you are trading five coins, three coins should be on default settings. Two coins should be on bull tactics. If you are trading 10 coins, five coins should be on default, five coins should be on, on bull tactics. So this bull tactics means you are the bull tactics category one. Now let's talk about the bull tactics category one with magic five. If you want to use bull tactics category one with magic five, you are telling robot, robot, I don't want you to buy the margin cost for me. I want to use the leftover capital to accumulate it to the first single entity, which is the first buy to the first cost, so that when it sells, it will give me whatever take profit you are using. If it's 3%, 3% of your total capital of this 666 when it sells, meaning you're going to make more money. But the problem here is that you are going to be agreeing on the condition that you don't make money downtrend only the uptrend. Uh, but when it sells, whatever you use as a take profit, you make 3%, if it's 3%, 3% of your 100% capital, which is awesome, right? But please make sure you agree with the condition. So how do you edit these settings to fit the bull tax? Because there's something you need to do. Yes, there are two things you need to do. You need to change something based so that it's not by the fifth call downward. And then you do your calculation to know how much leftover capital you have to do your manual replenishment. Now, let's do this. For you to know the, set, the way to edit the settings, just go down. You can save the settings separately on your rear queue so that you know you have a bull taxes for default settings. For the Magic 5, you are to stop it from buying the fifth call. How do you do that? On this fifth call, you remove the 0 0.2 and edit it to 50. 50%, meaning when it gets to the fifth call, it will stop to buy. When it gets to the fourth call, I mean, it will stop to buy because you don't want it to buy the fifth call downward. It will be very difficult right now for a coin to go deep by 50% because we're in the bull run, bull season. So now that you've done this, the next thing before you save these settings is to calculate your leftover capital to know how much You'll be using to do your manual replenishment. The capital that will be used to buy the fifth call downward, you want to use it to do manual replenishment. Manual replenishment means manual buy. Okay? So that you add it to the single entity, which is the first buy to the fourth call. So for we to do the maths, it is the multiple buying ratio. All you just need to do is easy, please, very easy. You add up the 
first to the fourth call. You add them up. 1.6. You guys can also do that over there with your calculator. I am doing this from my own computer as well. So you say 1.6 plus 6.5, okay, plus 1.6 plus 6.5. If I made any mistake, please correct me. It gives you what? 16.2. Now, whatever you get plus one, Let's add one to it. Now, I'll say plus one. It gives me what? 17.2. Erase everything because when you just multiply it now, it, will, it might give you the wrong answer. So 17.2, take note. I'll erase and write 17.2 again on the calculator. Multiply by first by, first by amount, which is 20. Multiply by 20. It gives me what? 344. 344. Now, the next thing I'll do here is to say 666, because that's your capital for this sentence, Patrick. 666 minus 344. 666 minus 344. It will give me what? 322. 322. Sorry. 322 is my leftover capital that we are going to be using to do manual replenishment once the robot picks up the first buy amount. Immediately when it buys first buy, you don't need to wait to, to buy the first call. No, no, no. Some people say they don't want to wait or they have to. No, it's not a must. Once it buys the first buy amount, just go on that coin, tap on return rate, it will open, tap on buy, make sure you tap on market price, impute the capital 322 down. I think I need to show you guys how to do that. Just give me a second. Let me show you guys how, let me, let me just show you guys how to do that quickly. Oh, shit. Sorry, sorry, please. Mm. Where is it? I need to open, log into Android here. Mm. Okay. Okay, sorry guys, let me share my screen again. I believe you guys can see my screen now. Okay, yes. So this is it now. Let's assume you want to trade this, you want to do mana replenishment for this coin. All you just need to do is tap on buy. Tap on buy. Same thing as compounding. For those who are asking for compounding, when you want to compound, it's the same process you do your manual replenishment. Whatever you add when doing compounding, it should be added to the first buy to, down to the fourth call. Position. Now you tap on buy. Make sure you tap on what's market price. You need to tap on it to change color, meaning it has been selected. Then you can now write your 322 two here. 322 two here. And if you tap on show, immediately it will be added to that position which it has bought. So when it buys the first to the fourth call, together with this 322, two, it means your 100% is already running on that trade. Is this understood? Please let me say yes if you understand what I just did. If you understand what I just did, let me say yes on the chat. For iPhone users, once you tap on buy, you don't need to tap market price. By default, it is already on market price. Just go down. Amount of margin call, you write 322. You write the leftover capital based on your capital. What I got here is 322 based on the calculation I did. For those who are saying no, please, you can rewatch this recording or when it's time for question, you can ask your question. Then I tap on show. This is how you do your manual replenishment. Same thing as compounding. If you want to compound your profits, any amount you made on your next trade, just once it picks up, tap on buy, tap on market price, write the amount. If it's $10 profit, that was the previous profit. Write your $10 there. If it's $20, write your $20 there. Confirm it is added to your position. When it sells, it gives you more profit. Simple as that. Now, that is for that is for the bull taxes category one. How about the bull taxes category two? You are telling the robot that, robot, buy margin calls for me to a certain level. What is the certain level to the 
10 score. To the 10 score. But from the 11 score downward, please don't buy for me. I want to use the capital left over for from the 11th call to the 24th call because magic 5 is 24 call to do my manual replenishment. Okay? In this case, I will edit this 10th, um, 11th call, 11th call, and write 50% because I don't want it to buy the 11th call. I want it to stop buying from the 10th call. How do I get my leftover capital? The same process. You go to the multiple buying ratio, you add up the first to the tenth, okay? To the tenth, add them up just the same way I showed you guys. So the bull taxes category one, whatever you get plus one, multiply by the first buy amount. Whatever you get, your capital to be used for that trade, you minus it by what you got, it will give your leftover capital. This is how you do the bull tactics category two. It works the same way with the magic one. Magic one, you do the same thing for bull tactics category one. You stop it from buying the fifth call. Do your a calculation to get your leftover capital. For bull tactics category two with magic one, you stop it from buying the 11th call, meaning you want to stop buying when it gets to the 10th call. So on 11th call, you change the margin call drop, whatever you have there to 50%. You do your calculation to get your leftover capital for magic one and five. Now let's talk about magic three. Magic three is different. For magic three, you can only make use of bull taxes category one. Only bull taxes category one. Sorry, you can't use bull taxes category two for magic three. So take note. But how do you stop it from buying? You have to stop it from buying the second call. So on the second call, you change that five to 50%. So you only wanted to buy the first buy and the first call. How do we know the leftover capital? Simple, you say 0 0.7 because we are only using the first call. 0 0.7 plus one multiplied by the first buy amount for magic three is 15, 15, okay? So when we say 0 0.5, 0 0.7, I mean, 0 0.7 plus one will give you what? 1.7. 1.7 multiplied by 15 to give you what? 25.5. Now, it gives you 25.5. What is the capital? 100. 100 minus 25.5. 74.5. Forget about the point 0.5. Use 74. Okay, so you just say 74 will be your leftover capital. So once it buys the first buy amount, just go tap on buy. The same process I showed you guys. Please, for those who join late, watch the recording, you understand. It is very clear and it's just watch the recording. If there's anything you don't understand, please come back tomorrow. You now use 74, forget the 0.5 and do your manual replenishment. I believe with all that has been said, everybody should understand. I won't have any issues with this template because people don't really understand when it gets to this calculation, this small calculation you need to do and when they are selecting the right settings based on their capital, please. This is the easiest way to do this without having any worries. So if you have any questions, please feel free to ask your question. If there's anything I've said so far that is not understood, please call on my attention to that. Raise up your digital hands. Your mic will be unmuted for you to speak up. Thank you. Do we have questions, please? Questions, questions, questions. Keep them coming. All right. Queen BC, please omit your mic and speak up. Queen BC, if you can hear me. Okay. Um, good evening. Please, I have three questions. The first one okay. is um when you're uh, when you're using the bull tactics, right? Um yes. when when you now do the manual um, replenishment with the leftover capital, do you do it immediately after you have activated the trade? Or do you wait? to see that it has bought at least one margin, the first margin call? No, you don't need to wait for margin call. Once it buys the first buy amount, you go ahead and do your manual replenishment. First buy amount, meaning your robots, your trade is up and running. So you don't need to wait okay, for margin good. call buys. Okay. Just do your manual okay. replenishment, please. Okay, that's fantastic. Then the other thing is, um, when I calculate my leftover capital, for my manual replenishment. Let's okay. assume I have 322 
as leftover capital. Okay. And can I can I can I replenish with like two hundred and twenty two? I'm just giving an example. Replenish. You with mean you want to add up? You, you no, want to no, no, add no. up to it? No, no, no. I mean, my leftover capital that I, I that you said we can use to replenish. Can I share it okay. into two? Maybe use part of it to replenish and use part of it to pick another trade entirely. It all depends on you. You know, if you want to do that, you definitely it will definitely affect your profit. But if that is what you want, it's fine. But this is how we do it. But if you want to do it that way and you understand what you're doing, it's fine, please. You can. Okay. I then the third question. Okay, yes, it is. Then the third question is um what exactly is the difference or the advantage of um both tactic and um, both tactics two category two compared to one? Because for, two, it for makes category you one, not, okay. For category okay. one, you said um it will buy four margin calls and then you change the, the fifth one to 50, and then you use the leftover capital to do re the replenishment. But in category two, you let it go down to buy up to 10 and then change the, the 11th one to 50, 50 margin calls, and then you use the leftover to, you know, to buy, um to replenish. Now, in category two, it simply means you are replenishing with less capital. Yeah, of course, the difference between the magic one and two is magic mm -hmm. one, so the bull tactics category one gives you the take profit is on 100% of your capital. And you yes. don't have the chance to make money downtrend when it goes against you. Okay. Magic bull yes. tactics category two, yeah. the take profit is on certain, I think it's around 70% of your capital. Mm -hmm. While the yes. remaining 30% is between the fifth call to the tenth call. So as to be giving you subsell Depending when the coin will sell off completely. Okay. That's, why we say that, that's why we say that if you bull tactics category one is for someone that is completely patient. Yes. Exactly. Someone that is completely patient that, yes, he's going to be enjoying money. Sometimes the market can go against him. But he understands the fact that if his trade is on floating loss, he's making yeah. double when that trade comes out because the exchange yeah. rate bought that USDT at that point, he plays that trade, might mm -hmm. not be the exchange rate if the trade sells off, it might be higher. Mm -hmm. For example, you bought mm -hmm. an, you bought your USDT at 1,300 and you mm -hmm. enter the floating loss. When you come mm -hmm. out now, the exchange rate is 1,500 and you came out in profit. So you come out oh. in double profit. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's okay. the advantage of bull tax category one. Now, but for category yeah. two is for somebody that is slightly patient. It's not 100% yes. patient. It's just 50% patient. Meaning that okay. regardless of how the market behaves, they still want to be seen even in the matter how small subset. Mm -hmm. Mm, Even mm, though you mm. want to take the take profit should, should be on 70% or so, yeah. I think that's it, that's what it is. He still wants to be seeing subset. Yes, so okay. that's why we recommend bull status category two. Okay. But for somebody okay. that is impatient completely, he just wants to be seeing subset, should stick to default setting. Yes. Okay. Great. So you need to know your mm. client, know yeah. his psychology before you now yeah. tell him do this. Mm -hmm. okay. And if you're on this call, it is important to know that the minimum number of coins to trade on one shot is three. Maximum is 10. Minimum is three. If you're trading three coins, one should be on boot, two should be on default. Why? Somebody will say why. That one that is on boot is maximizing your profit. But that one that is on default mm -hmm. is to safeguard when the market goes against you. You want to be seen soft sell. Okay. So the okay. coins on on default setting should be one ahead the coins on both that oh, category one. Okay. Some of us have already made the some of us are already trading like eleven ten coins and they are all on we are um, not saying that you cannot trade more than ten. It is just a oh. standard. 
The reason why we put that limit is because we want more USDT on the coin. coin. If you say somebody, you want more USDT, if you have a thousand USDT, ten thousand dollar, you're trading five coins. Isn't it more? You have to two thousand per coin, and you're trading mm. ten coin, one thousand per coin. If you now go and be trading twenty coins, uh -huh, five hundred dollar, uh -huh. five hundred dollar per. The profit yeah. that will be coming out is not much. Yeah. Not okay. Plenty. That's why we kept that standard. Okay. All right. Okay. I hope I answered okay. the question. Yes, you have. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right. Um, I can see Olam Mideji. King Ola, okay, King Ola Demeji, please commit your mic and speak up. All right. Um, good evening, sir. Thank you for all you do. Now, um, I want to ask um a question. Now, please, can you kindly explain um the difference between a whole warehouse sub bean then sub bean real time mode settlements? Please, I need uh, an understanding of this of the three, sir. Thank you. I think this should be, Coach Mo, if you're not, this should be the last question we should respond to. It's around 10 p.m. We also have a session tomorrow. We have a session tomorrow. Okay, so we'll continue. Okay, I'll answer sir. your question. The whole warehouse mode is, seem, is synonymous to selling your commodity in bulk. If you go to okay, H Medic, if you are in Nigeria, right, permit me to use this example. I know so not everybody on this call are Nigerians, but wherever you are in the world, there are some pharmacists, for example, that don't sell in piecemeal. That is to say, they don't sell in small, small piece. They sell in bulk. If you cannot buy in bulk, you go wholesale, right? So that yes. is the that is the philosophy Royal to apply. When you put your coin okay. on wholesale house mode, you want the coin to sell completely you don't want you to sell bit by bit okay. if you put it on whole okay. house mode and you're using several margin calls whatever unit it buys at each of the margin call is not going to sell it unless your take profit is hit for example you put it on three percent it buys the first call with ten dollar second call twenty dollar third call forty dollar you see 40 plus 30 will give you 70 dollar and your take profit is three percent if it doesn't give you three percent it's not going to sell at seventy dollar Okay. You go to eight, uh, fifth call. At the at fifth call, you have hundred dollar on the coin. It's not going to sell that fifth call alone. On that fifth call, let's say you have uh, fifty dollar on that fifth call only. Then when you sum it with the first call to the fourth call, you have hundred dollar total. It's not going to just sell that fifth call alone because if you put it on sub B mode, real time settlement, it can sell that fifth call alone at your Distributed take profit allocation at what did okay. you put on the fifth call? Is it 1.8? If it is 1.8, you put on the fifth call on distributed take profit allocation, it's going to be selling that fifth call at 1.8% of $50 that is there. But okay. if you put it on whole house mode, it's going to not going to sell that fifth call separately, it's going to sell everything at once. As long as your right. take profit of 3% is not hit, is not it has not been hit. It's not going to sell everything. It wants to sell everything. Even if you buy the six call, let's say you buy the six call and you have hundred dollars in six call, so you have two hundred in total. It's not going to sell until you sell. You see an opportunity of selling everything at once. Okay, sir. All right. Just sir. like if you go to a pharmacy, H Medics is an example of a pharmacy, big pharmacy. They don't sell in piecemeal. They sell in wholesale. Okay. So if you, that is what Royal Q apply in wholesale house mode. Even if you get to the seventh call and your total USDT is now like let's say for five hundred dollar, it is not going to sell only seven call, or only six call, or only fifth call. It's going to sell everything as a whole and give you a, as a whole. But when you put Thank it on you, sub beam mode, sub beam mode, Royal Q. In fact, I used to say the best business, the best business online. There's no any business like Royal Q. Royal Q is a blessing to humanity. The problem with we, the users, is we refuse to understand what it is. It's just like somebody in the night, waking up in the night around 1 a.m. or 2, 2 a.m., praying in the night for God to help him financially. God is not going to come from heaven and give you that money. If you like, pray from now to the day of judgment, to the day you die. He will never come back from heaven and say, 
take this money. He is going to present to you an opportunity that you can use to make that money that you have asked for. That's but right. the question now is, when the opportunity comes, are you ready to see and know what it is so that you know whether it is from God or not? Royalty is from God. Why? You can never lose money. But Ponzi scheme is from the devil because you will lose money. They will steal your money and go away, leave you stranded. That is whole warehouse mode. But when you put it on sub beam mode only, sub beam mode, you are telling the robot that if it buys the fifth, if it buys up to the fifth core, right, up to the fifth core, it should not sell. If it sells the fifth core at one point eight percent take profit, it should buy a gate and not give you the profit. Okay. For example, you have fifty dollar. On the fifth core, from the first core to the fourth core, you have total number of USDT on the first core to the fourth core. You have, let's say, $100 if you add it. Then when you come to the fifth core, you have uh, another $100. Sixth core, you have $200. Seventh core, you have $300. When you get to the fifth core, that is $100, you are telling them that if it sells, if it sells, it should give you, take the profit and buy that fifth, buy again. It should not give you the profit. That is why when it is on sub beam mode, you will see it sell, but it will not return the money. You will not see the profit on your revenue detail, but you will see that it has sold. Because if you mm. keep that profit and use it to buy that fifth call again, or buy again. But when mm. you put it on sub beam mode, real-time settlement, it means that if it sells that fifth call, it should give you your profit and keep it for you on your USDT spot wallet without buy, using okay. the profit to buy again. Okay. If you only All use right. the hundred dollar you have allocated for that fifth call to buy, but not use the profit. Okay, sir. All right, sir. Is that understood? Thank you. I'm grateful, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Right. So we've come to the end of this class. Most important point to note: if you want to go far, I am a V3. Kuchmo is a V3. If you want to go far in this business, don't think short term. Think long term. If you are on this call. And your mindset is on short term, that is to say, you want to blow. I played the video from Jack Ma yesterday, and I'm going to play a video. Probably, let me just leave it because time is not on our side. I wanted to play a video of Elon Musk and a video of John Gote, who is the richest man in Africa. We learn from these people because they are the richest on art. We learn from them. We don't learn from broke people in our office who don't have $100,000 in their account and they are advising me or advising us. Why will I listen to you when you don't have $100,000 or $500,000 in your account? And you're telling me that the opportunity is not going to work. Why will I listen to you when you are broke? I will listen to people that have the money, who the whole world know that they are the richest. That's why we listen to them. So we're going to play the video tomorrow. Sorry about that because we don't have time. Time is not going to outside. I will play the video. Your mindset should be switched from five to 10 years once you activate your royalty. You want to build this business for your children, not just for yourself, for your wife, for your children, from now to five years, five to 10 years. If you give it five to 10 years, no matter how the floating loss you see, you just know that you are building it from now to five years, five to 10 years, sorry. If you give it five to 10 years, your mindset is already long term. That's what Jack Ma said yesterday. I played the video. If getting rich quick is easy, everybody would have been rich. You know that being in the office, everybody would have been rich. That is why it's not easy. You need to put in the work for you to see the result you desire. Thank you very much. Always remember the word of Warrior Buffett. I used to close the session with this. If you, your salary has been paid to your account today or on Monday, it's all just going to last seven days or five days. Some people, even that same day, the money has finished. Is that how you want to live your life for the next 30, of, 30 to 40 years? Managing life? You and I know that only a business can murder poverty. Only a business can murder poverty. Thank you very much. See you next. Tomorrow is very important to attend because you're going to get a skill that you can use to generate signal by yourself. Most people don't use to attend Zoom. That's why they keep complaining. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Same time. Bye-bye, everyone.